If you've ever been fit for irons, you've probably heard of Project X. Today, in this video, we're going to compare the Project X steel iron shafts together head to head. Thomas is going to hit some shots, provide his feedback, and we'll tell you everything you need to know. Golfers, if you enjoy this video, make sure you're subscribed to the channel for more. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. We're in the tour van today. We're looking at steel iron shafts today um, from Project X. So one of the best iron shaft manufacturers out there. We've got the steel options today here, Thomas. Uh, nobody more familiar with them than you in terms of fitting customers every year. So we've got, you know, I think it's four different models here, correct, um, from Project X. We're gonna compare them, different characteristics, different benefits. Um, First of all, get us started, just a, uh, kind of a quick intro here. Um, you know, what does this line offer for golfers in the Project X uh, brand here? Yeah, so Project X, they have diff different families. Mm -hmm. Project X originally came out with their standard rifle shaft, so the Project X golf shaft. It's been mm -hmm. a staple around for a while. And then they kind of expanded on other different families, essentially. So. Then they went into the Project X LZ. Mm -hmm. I'm very familiar with that particular golf yep. shaft. I've played it in my bag for the last four or five years. Uh, so LZ stands for loading zone. Um, they, in the last couple of years, they've also added into the line the Project X LS and Project X IO. Okay. So LS stands for low spin. So it's a very okay. low spinning golf shaft. And then the IO, the IO golf shaft, that's a little bit softer flex golf shaft. Um, it's just going to be a little bit softer for those players that maybe don't need as much help loading that club as possible. Okay, so we've got the four different models here. So how are we going to test this? Because you know, there are various you know, uh, flexes and weights that you know, are in each of the families. So how are we going to test them head to head here? Yeah, so the unique thing about Project X is they start from, actually they have, even have graphite golf shafts that are at 4.5, but they start from 5.0 and they go up to all the way to 7.0. Okay. So their, their, um, their stiffness scale is a little bit different to rather than just senior, stiff, right, regular, yeah. extra stiff. Um, so this is going to talk about what, what these golf shafts really kind of mean. Yeah. And a lot of them, a lot of people think that a stiff golf shaft is a, you know, a stiff golf shaft. Yeah. There's always going to be cutoff points between. So the unique thing with Project X is they, they some of their 6.0s, which is considered stiff, is almost like an extra stiff golf shaft if you're comparing that to other manufacturers as well. Okay. So that's one thing to keep so in mind. So they kind of have their own scale is what you're saying. Right. Where, you know, like, I think the general rule of thumb in the industry is you have you know, your, your seniors, your uh, regular flex, your stiff flex. But here, Project X does it a little bit differently. And so making sure we know that first, I guess, is probably the most important right. thing. Yeah, so a, a good example here, I'm going to pick up all the Project X LZ golf shafts. Um, so uh, what we do in the tour van is we kind of label them with different colors. Yep. So notice it says LZ 5.0, 110 grams. So this essentially is considered like a, a senior shaft because 5.0 is kind of in that area, but mm -hmm. it still weighs 110 grams. So yeah. it's still a fairly heavy golf shaft mm -hmm. um, for steel golf shaft there too. Um, and then you've got your 5.5. I've always thought that 5.5 is kind of being like an in-betweener. It's kind of being an in-between regular and stiff golf okay. shaft. Um, but you'll notice we've got it listed as a regular. So blue yeah. tape for us is a way for us to know that this is a, a regular golf shaft. Then we have the 6.0. 6.0 generally is being stiff, but as I mentioned, sometimes they're very close to extra stiff with, compared to other different golf shafts out there in the market. That's our, our white tape that we put yeah. on there as well. And then 6.5. 6.5 is definitely extra stiff. Yeah. Um, so we notice we've got this, this orange tape on here yep. too. This is the golf shaft that I've actually played for the last four or five years is the mm -hmm. LZ 6.5, 125 yeah, grams. It's also in my irons too. So I'm, I'm familiar with that one, but yep. um, as far as the other ones here, I'm curious to see how they, you know, cause like you said, different uh, naming conventions for the different flexes and, and weighting. So right. um, interesting there. And then of course these other shaft models, the IO, the LS, um, also curious on those two, how they perform. Yeah, so they, 
I mean, all the families, they go in five gram increments in weights. The IO just starts a little bit, little bit lower. So if you look here, the IO, the, the 5.5 five IO only has 105 grams. So it's a little okay. bit lighter golf shaft. All the others, they're, they're 5.5s, 115 grams. And so generally it goes 115, 120, 125. But the IO being for that player that loads the club a little smoother, um, essentially is a little softer flex and a little softer flex and a little bit lighter for that for that player. Okay, but so for the test today then, um, we've got you know each of the four different models. Are we going to use the same flex for them? And then um, I also kind of want to get your feedback on what you would expect based on what you know about these models. Yeah, so uh, it would defeat the purpose of me hitting all 10 irons. So it'd, be a, it'd be a very, very long, long right. video. Um, so what I'll do is we'll, we'll talk about each family. Uh, I'll probably just hit the 6.0 golf shaft. So I'll hit the 6.0 Project X, LS, LZ, and IO. Okay. There is a little bit of differences. As, as I mentioned, the IO shaft is a little, little bit lighter, but the other ones all do weigh pretty similar, but they do have different flex points. And LZ, for example, loading zone, the midsection, for example, is a little softer midsection. So we'll talk about a little bit about feel differences with them. The LS golf shaft is just a very, very stiff, stable golf shaft okay. too. So we'll talk about the differences then with them, but we'll, we'll definitely bring up what is available with regards to weights and, oh, uh, yeah. and flexes and each different family. Well, it is impressive that Project X has all of these available here because you cover a lot of swing types with all of these different shaft types and shaft models, weights, flexes, et cetera. So, um, good that we can get, this is kind of a unique one. We usually are testing club heads on the channel, but now we've got shafts here to, to test on TrackMan. So um, you ready to hit some shots here? Let's do it. All right, so Thomas, what are we starting with for our test today? Let's start with the, the original rifle, so the Project X golf shaft. And as we're testing here today, we're gonna be testing with the exact same club head. So this is the Mizuno Tour. So Mizuno okay. Tour, JPX, uh, club head, okay. with all the different shafts. Okay. That's a straight ball flight there. Yeah, that felt pretty good. So a couple swings in, just want to get your take on feel quick. Um, I mean, I know we have a few more shots to hit with a few different shafts, but um, how does that one compare to maybe what you've felt before with the LZ when you're, when you're playing and you're with your gamers? Yeah, it's, it's stiff and smooth, essentially. So it feels very stable across the entire club. Um, while comparing it to, say, the LZ that I play, it just feels like it's just a little bit softer and allows me to load it just a little bit easier. Well, this one just feels, feels very stout, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That was almost identical to the last shot. That's a face angle of 0, 0.0. That helps. That will help. That one felt really good. It's, All right. it's interesting. This one just, for, for me, I turned the ball over a little bit with it. You certainly did. I mean, even looking at the dispersion here, you kind of have three really tugged over there, um, really kind of got that, you know, it almost you pulled it, but also had that draw, right? And then uh, uh, you had the kind of the two that were basically started straight and, versus, I mean, they turned over like five feet. But, right, yeah. Um, so. You know, this based on what you've told me about that that shaft, uh, really stable, right? You'd think, and maybe I'm wrong, but it kind of a maybe lower ball flight than some of these other ones. Yeah, it's definitely designed to be kind of like a, a lower spin, lower ball flight overall. Okay. Yeah. So I, I expect to be a kind of a little bit lower. It's it, like I said, it feels very stable. Yeah. I feel like my club head was just following through. Um, I was kind of maybe flipping at it just a little bit where a softer golf shaft, and I've said this in the, in the past, I sometimes leave that face a little more open with a softer golf shaft. This is just very, very stable overall. Right, so like yeah. when you have a, your fast transition, your club with that kind of shaft isn't gonna leg behind, the club head's not going to, it's gonna keep up with right. the stable golf shaft versus if you were playing 
something whippy, you know, or more flexible, that club would lag a little bit behind. And that's probably then why it would explain those left shots. There. Yep. And it's just when I had that club face closed three degrees coming through, that's why the ball went left. Mm -hmm. My club path is, is great, 0 0.1, so and that's right. pretty, pretty good right there. I just, yeah, the just club face, face just angle. turned over a little bit more with this with Yeah, this that face shot. angle is on average two degrees closed. So that'll be something to monitor here as we move on to uh, the next one. Why don't we go to the, let's go to the IO here. Okay. Definitely felt lighter. That was a little bit more speed on, on that one. More speed right away? Yeah, that one, I mean, I know the golf shaft is yeah. a little lighter, and I think it's exactly all right, about 10 grams. Mm -hmm. But yeah. It, I mean, you gained a mile and a half per hour already, yeah. just on one swing. So it can definitely kind of. Not gonna lie, this shaft feel is really good. So, how is it different than than the the first one? Like, I mean, try to compare the two after you know a few swings now with the IO. Well, I know it's lighter, but it's it just feels softer. Yeah. It just it feels sm really smooth and really soft. It is. Like you're not really impact. fighting it to get it kind of through to match up almost. Right. You're just I mean you're just you can swing free flowing and you have um, is it more you have more confidence with it maybe. Yeah, I feel like I, I feel like I did actually, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm honestly shocked because I know this is lighter, and generally speaking, a lighter golf shaft, I've seen the dispersion pattern get yeah. kind of further further offline, but I haven't really hit one lap with it yet, and that's right. the one thing I did like about it is it was just to do with that that loading of of the of the club, my mm -hmm. like little quicker transition, that face just staying a little mm -hmm. more open as opposed to sure shutting down. I mean, those five swings felt so good. I'm excited to look at this uh, dispersion pattern. Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, look at that. You got three of them that are, you know, you could put a blanket on top of those. Right. So. I kind of let myself down there on shot nine, only a one three nine smash. Everything else is <laughs> one four, but. <laughs> yeah, that, where is the consistency, Thomas? Come on. I mean, look at look at those consistency numbers. Plus or minus a zero point two on that on that mm -hmm. launch and the spin. Yeah, the it's spin. I have to. I mean, it has to compare. It's yeah, a little it does bit compare more pretty well to yeah. the Project X. So, it, I mean, you right. You noted right away. Swing speed went up. Um, ball speed did too as a result. But the spurge circle is comfortably smaller. So interesting. Right. I mean, and I think you kind of diagnosed it and you, as you've said throughout, like this is a better fit for you than the original Project X rifle there. So, but we're, I mean, this is five shots with each and that is a very, very tight dispersion. I felt really confident with it. Uh, if you would take a look at the spin, I'm curious on the spin, because this technically should spin just a little bit more. Oh yeah. yeah so it's 400 RPMs more and it's interesting more consistent. Carry too. distance is basically the same, but it was stopping a little faster because it wasn't going left, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, that yeah. Is a little bit higher launch. I'm trying to look over here. We and talked about face numbers. angle too. We talked okay. about how face yeah. angle you were, you know, that. Um, and they matched up basically. Yeah. Why the ball flew straight. Mm -hmm. And a bit, high, a bit higher too. Quite hot, quite significantly higher. Right. All right, so interesting. Pretty distinct differences there. Now we can go to We'll go to the uh, we'll go to the LZ here. I don't is, know if I want to hit it after well, this. <laughs> now, see, I've, yeah, because that's I've your game. I've been gamer. playing the LZ yeah. for the last four years, and this felt. So what are you going to do now yeah. if you get a wire dispersion? Well, it's really interesting because <laughs> this golf shaft, it's kind of similar to like your, like KBS has a C taper light. Mm -hmm. The golf shaft mm -hmm. I played in um, in my bag before I switched to the the LZ was a C taper light X. 115 grams. Yeah. The IO is 115 grams in, in the 65. Pretty similar. So it's a, sim it's a similar kind of feel, feel to it. Okay. Now, the reason I went with LZ2 is 125 grams versus, say, a, a true tamper diamond goal at 130 grams. 
is I just light something just a little bit lighter okay. overall. I don't need to play that really heavy stout golf, yeah. golf shaft. But yeah, this felt good. That's uh, let's see if I can beat it with the LZ though. Yeah, the the and another important comparison within a comparison here for you. Right. Interesting. That felt good. Better than the swing before. Oh yeah. Wow. I am curious to look at this dispersion circle now because. Well, there's going to be one that was a little right. too right. That was a little bit off. So, in this one, just, you know, to see, I kind of want to. That was a miss. That was that. a miss hit. Yeah. You can, I mean, you, you, like you, you noted that you swung up on the ball with a seven iron. Yeah. So, just not a good <laughs> swing. But. Right. It's not often I see my attack angle at 0 0.1 with a, with a seven iron. Right. Yeah. Um, but we have these other ones to take a look at here. And you can see that the Spurge Circle then rivals the I.O. So from your perspective now, you hit the shots. What did you think about the difference in feel there? You know, did you, you know, explain how the LZ is different than the I.O.? Because um, I know, again, they're both kind of fit your profile a little bit. Yep. I mean, it's, it's Mac kind of in between the other, the, Project X and the IL is where I would say that the, the LZ is kind of fitting in. Kay. It was, yes, it's a little heavier than, than the IL. I can, I can feel that. But it just felt just a little softer feeling for me come, coming through the ball. Okay. Didn't feel harsh on, on the hands or anything like that. I felt like I hit it well. Probably didn't swing as, I feel like it made me as much speed as, mm -hmm. the, as the IL because it's, it's a little heavier shaft. But it felt... Felt pretty good overall. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so we can look at averages here and see how things go. So you actually had more spin. I did notice that you were hovering around, you know, six thousand for most of those swings. So it seems like we've kind of, you know, not purposefully, but we picked the trend of you know the golf shafts here with more spin as you kind of go. Right. Well, that'll be interesting next to see the the out S because that's supposed right. to be the lower spinning mm -hmm. shaft. Yeah. So we'll kind of maybe hope. I mean. You know, we maybe left the lowest spinning for last, uh, but I got my carry of 178. You which did, is, uh, which is I know that's what you're my number. So yep. interesting because you did, you know, that's a four yard dip. Well, yeah, four and a half yard difference um, there, and you did. I don't know if you even hit over. Did you get over 180? You did a couple of times, barely. Yeah. Um, so interesting. And then I wanted to look at like face angle too. Pretty similar with the IO. I mean, and we'll go to height here again. Very similar. So. And you noted that those two profiles are very similar, so they and they yielded similar results, with the exception of kind of your one off swing. Yep, just a little less club speed and a little more spin is going to equal just just slightly shorter distance overall mm -hmm. compared to say the the IL. But it it felt really good. Like the LZ, I've it's been one of my favorite shafts to fit with. One because I I play it, but right. also you know it has been pretty successful for those for those golfers that like a stable golf shaft but want to have something feeling softer in, in their hands coming through the bowl. And mm -hmm. it's been a very good, good golf shaft in the fitting bay. Well, okay, last one here is the LS, low spin. So we'll see how that stacks up with these other ones. Okay. How well, a good start. Like 52. Fuck a good swing. Well, two swings in, and it's already kind of a. You got two of your more left shots right. of, of the day so far. Hmm.
That's fine. Well, so bring up this version, I'll bring up the numbers. So a trend emerged with the LS. We go, we go a little bit left of center there with that one. Um, so we, we kind of, you know, low spin shaft it is lower than the LZ, lower than the IO. Um, what did you, th I mean, I guess, explain to me, you know, the tendency to go left here and what, what caused it? Yeah, it's, it's a stiffer golf shaft. It's a, it's a stabler golf shaft. It, as I've mentioned before, it, with my, my swing tendency, I mean, my path numbers are usually pretty close mm -hmm. to zero. In the past, I used to be a little more in to out, and I would st start the ball further to the right and draw it. I have a tendency to draw the ball just a little bit more with my irons. Mm -hmm. Just seems like because of my quicker transition, when I, my quick transition with a heavy club, the club kind of keeps up and I, it turns over with it a little bit. Mm -hmm. But with a lighter golf shaft, what's happened is it's kicked a little bit more with a quick transition and the club has just kind of stayed just a little bit more open. Yeah. Now, typically what you'll see is someone that's got a smoother transition a lighter golf shaft would do the, the opposite, essentially. Normally, right. a lighter golf shaft causes the ball to go a little, little to the left, or a heavier golf shaft to the right, because it's hard to get through the ball, essentially. Okay. It's just my quicker transitions, the way I swing. It's going to be different for everyone. That's why it's important to make sure that a person comes in and, and tests the golf shafts out themselves, as opposed <laughs> to just relying completely on my swing and my data. Right, right. And that's, you know, we always say, you know, a lot of, fitting and equipment, it's player dependent because it is, you know, for every different golfer out there, there's a different golf swing. Um, but, you know, the, the trends sh will and should emerge based on the profiles of these shafts, which as you explained just there, you know, that's why the Project X LS and the Project X kind of went left on you a little bit. And yeah. so that tr those trends do not surprise you at all, right? Whereas, right. and then the ones that are closest to what you need are the Project X IO, and then the one you play, the Project X LZ, we see those dispersion circles in the middle of the fairway. Um, so a, another, another reason to make sure you're fit for the right golf shaft there. Exactly, and it makes sense. It's gonna be different for, for everybody. Everyone's, can, everyone's feel is different, uh, everyone, the way they swing the golf club. Yeah. Um, I'm curious if you're gonna kind of rank like club speed and ball speed and, and just see mm -hmm. from top to bottom, see if there's see any possible little trends going on here. Um, so we see the I.O., the lightest golf shaft, generated the, the most club speed. Um, the Project X um, is, had the least amount of club speed. It mm -hmm. also was the golf shaft I swung first. So that could have had something to do with it there as well. Uh, you can kind of see that the, the LZ and the LS were kind of right in, in the middle. Mm -hmm. Project X, slowest, and then the fastest was, was the I.O. That's the, generally yeah. the trend that I would have expected okay. to see. I might have expected to see that LS just a little bit slower, but it also could be the fact that I hit the X, Project X first. Sure. Um, one thing is really interesting to see here is uh, that the LS and the X, the efficiency, that smash factor number is a little higher. I'm going to guess the club face is probably a little cl more closed with, with those two golf shafts. Let's so see if we go over here to the face angle, and, and there the, you go. Right. We've got, you know, almost zero with the IO and the LZ, LS and X, you're basically two degrees yeah. closed. And then the dynamic loft was just a little bit less because the face was about a degree, essentially. So that was causing um, more of a, a, a left shot and yeah. a higher efficiency because there was less loft at impact mm -hmm. on, on the club. Yeah. Oh, for sure. And then it also did contribute to the spin a little bit, at least for the Project X here. Where you had three way out here. Um, yeah, those three out way out there probably have impacted the spin being at 52, 5300 mm -hmm. versus say 55, what we saw with the LS. I right. would expect the X and the LS to be probably around similar regards to spin. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, IO and LZ. The one that surprised me the most is the LZ. The fact that it spun just a little bit more than the, mm -hmm. the IO. I thought the IO might have spun a little bit more. Um, but the consistency was pretty good. So plus yeah, or minus that? number is always good. Interesting, uh, all the you know the, the deviation numbers, you know, you, on the I O and the L Z are like across the board, you know, the best it seems like, and that's right. because they fit you the best. I mean, with the way you swing and the way you have that quick transition, those two are just the best profile for you. So you look at these deviation numbers, and almost all the way across, they're going to be 
a little bit better, a little bit tighter than the other two. Yeah, and then I, I know, I mean, going through the families, like to explain the differences, the LS is supposed to be a lower launching, lower spinning mm -hmm. shaft. It's not always going, as I mentioned, it's always going to be player dependent a little bit. And we're, we're talking, you're using the exact same loft on the golf club as the way the player presents that club mm -hmm. at impact, which is going to cause the spin and, and the launch angle. Yeah. We're talking 300 RPM, 500 RPM difference between, between them all. For, for an iron that's spinning at 5,000 to 6,000 RPMs, it's not like conclusive to say this one's going to spin way higher than the other. And that's why it's important to test it yourself and see if you're looking yeah. for more spin. There's, it, like yeah, there's we always say, we, we identify trends all the time when we're doing these videos, but then, yeah. you know, that trend will apply to most golfers depending on your, um, you know, where you, you fit, whether your, your swing speed, your swing tempo, things like that. But then to make sure it's 100% dialed in is where then you can come into the fitting. Uh, maybe you have two, three clubs in mind. Maybe you have two, three golf shafts in mind. Maybe you just have an idea of how fast you swing, but coming in to the fitting is where you'll get everything for sure dialed in and then you can have the utmost confidence knowing that that golf shaft and that golf club head are going right. to be right for you. Golf shaft and <laughs> golf club combo is what it comes down to. Mm -hmm. I guess what I'm saying is if I was to hit a hot metal club head versus which has got like 29 degrees loft on it versus a JPX Tour which has got 34 degrees loft off it on it that difference in loft alone is in club head design is going to cause the spin, spin differences versus a golf shaft that's supposed to spin right. less or spin, spin more. Right. That's going to cause a larger difference while the golf shaft is going to complement the club head that you can yeah. fit into. Yep, yep. Yeah. I mean, we, that's, that's how it is here. We, we fit club head first, and then we fit for the golf shaft. Two, you know, those are the two pieces of a golf club, essentially. So um, the two most important ones anyway. So making sure they're dialed in, making sure that they're right for your swing, utmost importance. So um, but I, I mean, we got some trends here. You know, we, we saw why, you know, there's, I mean, a lot of people might look at these golf shafts and like, well, what, what's, what are the differences, you know? Right. And you can't really see them with the naked eye, but um, it's important to, to know that there are different, you know, the, the, the tipping points and things like that within them. Um, it, they're built differently because of all the different swings that are out there. So, yeah, again, important to come in, get fit, work with someone like Thomas, um, and make sure you don't forget about the golf shaft because it can be forgotten by a lot of golfers, but you know, with the club head right there, you got to make sure the, the club head is delivered properly to the ball. That's where the shaft comes in. So Thomas, thanks for hitting the shots today, providing your feedback and, and uh, your expertise on these items. Yep, not a problem.